should be celebrating the first ever appearance of the Sanj from Ipon Shobo for him celebrating also the newest member of Bullet Club Clark Connors how about that our mind is just red rock for now we hope to recover but up next huge tag team action LIJ against five guys here in the capital city You know, LIJ, you know, they, they just recently lost a member, you know, and Sonata. You know, they may, they may be looking for new members, you know, and I was thinking since you're, you know, you're from Allentown, you know, the people are also known as the ingovernable ones. Come on. Uh, coming out, why do you keep making fun of Allentown? Coming out to the ring, the 93rd. Well, I mean, we know that your governor has a hard time keeping a tight leash on your people. Leave Mayor so, Matt out of this, please. Sorry, Vader, I know you're from around though, those neck of the woods. Around those parts, yes. We see Daryl, the 93rd IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, Hiromu Takahashi. There are two huge upcoming singles belts. We're gonna take a look at a man, former IWGP. I saw you out there, champion. Champion. you were shilling little Daryl that you could take home at the merch stand. Talking shop global, absolutely. And Hiromu Takahashi on his fifth reign as IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Successfully defended the championship against Robbie Eagles at Sakura Genesis. And Naito, who we haven't seen on US soil since 2019, what a treat. And you correct me if I'm wrong, Alex, but Naito, part of the, the Ring of Honor New Japan Joint Court 2019. Very rare appearances these days in the United States. First time ever in Washington, D.C. This crowd absolutely on their feet. And the significance of a white beta for L.I.J. L.I.J. will wear different gear depending on the occasion, depending on the level that they, that they feel the match is on. Because like Zack Sabre Jr., it's all about their mindset, trying to project what they feel. And here, Naito in the main event white gear that's a sign of respect that maybe I wasn't expecting. So it's one of the men that was formerly in under his wing and set up. Well, yeah, we had speculated before what relationship still exists, specifically between Sonata and Naito. And Ian, you might be right. I mean, that is a significant show of respect for someone who essentially defected from your group. Yes, the main event of White Moon tonight. How sweet this is. What about one for me? I don't get one. And we have been we've been graced with Daryl at the commentary position who will join us here tonight. Hello, Daryl. Thank you so much for joining us once again here in Japan as we await. Wow, Daryl's soft. The opponents of LIJ. It's not very nice to say about it. We don't body shame here. No, I'm not body shaming. I'm simply talking of the texture. Talking shop promo. As we have And there he is. The current current IWGP 
world heavyweight champion. He became champion at Sakura Genesis by defeating Okada. And first time here in the United States, first time anywhere with that title, Alex. Yeah, very, very significant to have Sonata here competing. First time achieving that. Now, this title not on the line, not today. Correct. But yes. there are implications within this match in terms of dynamics for future matches because immediately after Sonata won that title at Sakura Genesis, we saw Hiromo Takahashi show up to make a challenge. Certainly did. Takahashi could make history. Hiromo good. Oh man, Kamaru here, first time here on New Japan Strong. It's 40% proof. And the brand new IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, Sanada, in the house here tonight. He's done well for himself ever since uh, leaving uh, Los Ingornables. Well, isn't that the truth? And I think it was taken. Yeah, oh, and we see the, the champions. We will see these two men go one on one. The IWGP World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line when they meet Takahashi Hiromu. He has to go through. First, he has to go through. You made a new friend, huh? We have. We'd like to welcome you have a friend now. to the commentary position. He's joined us in Scotland. He's joined us all across the globe. Daryl, thank you so much for joining us here tonight. It's a pleasure to be here. Should we expose him to all the violence over? Uh, he didn't have anything to say. I was hoping that Daryl could maybe give us some insight, but no. Ever since BJ Whitmer and I gave him that beer in Scotland, he's been remained rather quiet. Oh, so. But he's been. We did it. Well, here we see. Nighttime. Take a look at Sonata, the new champion. Kenamaru, who I count, this is his debut here on Strong Alex. Perhaps his debut with New Japan in the United States. We'll have to, we'll have to get a producer to double check that fact for us. But. <laughs> Referee Taito in the ring here. Taito Nakabayashi. And we're seeing the fist to the sky. Alex, you started a great point before Daryl, before we gave Daryl an opening to talk. It, over the years, Sonata has felt like maybe he was in the shadow. He's he's gotten to the finals of different tournaments. He's gotten close to challenging Okada in particular for the IWGP Heavyweight and the World Heavyweight Championship, but could never cross the finish line. It was almost like the priority of LIJ was with Naito and even Hiromu, who's going to start things off here with Kenamaru. But, yeah. but since leaving, he's New Japan Cup, IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Something we said for the previous season. Sometimes throughout your career, you have to make big, drastic changes that not everybody agrees with. We've seen that with TJP. We've seen that now with Clark Connors. Right. So not a, uh, reached the ceiling with Los Ingobernables. And uh, he had to make a change. And right now, just part of just five guys, so quickly, he was able to become the top guy in Japan Pro Wrestling. Thank you. Now going to the knee of Hiromu. And this is, of course, a preview of that IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship match that Kanamaru is now owed by Hiromu in order to get Hiromu a shot at Sonata. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not uh, forget the accomplishments of Kanemura where he holds the records for the most reigns with the NOAA Junior Heavyweight Championship. And in, IW, uh, in New Japan Pro Wrestling, six-time IWGP Junior Whoa. Heavyweight Champion. And looking for some revenge on the man that he will meet for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, former oh. LIJ member Sonata. Well, and this is always an interesting dynamic because as we were speculating, it seemed like Naito and Sonata, they, they had some sort of mutual respect at least, some sort of understanding. They were very cool towards each other, but her own, he's not cool towards anybody. You know, he's always just the, the level of aggression, and he went right after Sonata. Like, there is, there is hostility there, for sure. And made to Naito. In there with Kanemaru. Forearm connects. And Daryl loving LIJ so yeah, far. Yeah, he keeps, his head keeps getting in the way of the monitor. I, I want him to watch, but I also need to do my job, Daryl. Oh, big elbow there. 
Perspective of someone like Sonata kind of now watching from the outside in. LIJ, he knows everything about their inner workings. And I, and I have to wonder. Oh! oh shoot. Wait, I guess the barricade here. Daryl almost Darryl, got hurt here. Daryl's okay. And steps over. Figure four. Yes, got it. indeed. Locks it in. Can him in a bad way. Is Sonata really on the outside here? A Romo. Figure four locked in. Sorry, folks, we're back. We were jostled a little bit. The body came flying at us. Kanemaru in trouble here. And, and look at this. Look oh. at Ido. Come on. Pulling the rope away. And that's, that's not illegal. Uh, yeah, what do you think about that, Ian? I mean, it's. Do you, do you support that? Do you, do you like that? I don't support it. I'd rather fair and square. Oh, and there. Kanemaru able to get to the ropes. Forced to break that hold, but again, if we're looking into the future, could we be seeing this again the next time when when Hiromo has to defend his championship when there is a title on the line? That'll be April 27th, NJPWWorld.com, the place to watch that bout. May 3rd, Hiromo takes on Sonata. Oh! oh. A huge week for Romo. If you ever should have a little bit of a preview of that first bout, IWGP Junior title will be on the line. Oh. Oh. And there is something beyond a regular wrestling rivalry. There you oh, go. Yes. Exactly. I mean, there's just this level of personal hostility. And who even knows? Like, Sonata is someone who is generally a fairly stoic individual. I don't, I don't know. And the depths of their personal relationship when they were in LIJ. I mean, maybe this was just inevitable. Maybe it was something that was brewing amongst uh, elite guys when you think about it. I mean, Hir uh, Hiromu Takahashi, you know, considered one of the best juniors. Yeah. Uh, and Sonara, now the champion, the, the face of the company. It, it could be just just competition between the top athletes. Right. Big suplex there. Go who kick out. Five Sometimes minutes set Five minutes. Room, you know, uh, for, for two, two people who think they're the best. And now Sonata, legal, tagged into this match, taking it to his former stablemate and future challenger. Sonata looking like a million bucks these days. Always had one of the best vertical leaps in professional sports. So just really taking that conditioning to the next level. Needed it to beat Okada. Oh! And shot sends Hiromu down. And that's another thing we need to consider in their future matchup. I mean, uh, Sonata has uh, got the strength advantage. You know, he, he can wear you down. Whereas Hiromu, you know, he's, he's fast, he's quick, hard to get to. All right now, Sonata. Oh, oh, no. Oh, look at that. He's got Hiromu Takahashi tied in a nut. And it's another from Milano Portrati here. <laughs> he is absolutely trapped. And don't look, Daryl. Close your eyes. Daryl, close your eyes. Daryl. I want that Daryl to see oh! this. Oh. Man. I tried to make Daryl turn away. He just wouldn't. Lateral press two. Now, uh, that was a damaging maneuver there. The way that Hiromu Takahashi with his neck, tripod, almost uh, on, the, on the mat, that well, drop kick. And, and considering that Takahashi recovered from a broken neck, yeah. that had the miracle comeback, hooks the leg, Kanemaru, two count there. Taito Nakabayashi in perfect position to make that call there. And again, there are no, oh, and the, there are no titles on the line in this match, but 
if you can pin a champion, in particular when you have a championship match Ooh. on the horizon, yeah. you have to imagine that is a huge psychological advantage. And oh! And that surgically repaired neck is just being brutalized right here. Look at the, the, the angle at which he has that neck turned. And, and Naito trying to make a move here. Zanata mm. playing defense. Oh, man. But the damage has been done. Absolutely. Yeah, he was in that hold for a very long time, and it can only take a second when you have a history of injuries. One of the most inspirational comebacks I've ever seen was Takahashi recovering, returning from that broken neck. It's being targeted now by just five guys. Takahashi, forearms connect. Fighting through, forearm delivers. Sonata misses with the right. Open hand, that chop. Play fetch again. Oh! oh. And it took one chop of Sonata to stop. Oh, He's but. On his feet. Preview of May 3rd here. Right caught. Oh! Dragon screw leg whip. Wow. He also held on to one of the arms as he did that. Yeah, and Sonata. Sonata is down, clutching the back of his knee, trying to stretch out that hamstring. It almost reaching. For Naito, and gets the tag. L.I.J. with a fresh man, and Naito in. Kick to the midsection. Off the ropes. Almost that far drag. Oh, thrust to the throat. Oh, Naito man. downstairs with a clock kick. Naito. And Irish whip in. Section there, Naito puts Kanemaru out. So, so fluid is Naito. Yeah, the way and he just, in the ring. yeah, and look at Naito isolating Sonata. We talked about this before. And so oh, it is. This is the first time that Sonata is in the ring. Hooks the leg. One, two. With former mem with his former members of Lij. Since joining Just Five Guys, I mean, there we were wondering what the dynamic would be like, and now Naito is taking it to the champ. A nice cravat here, wrenching the neck. Shot to the midsection. And it's Naito maintaining control. Oh, dropping down. And great submission here from Naito. The neck is trapped. The world champion. He's in trouble. Somebody's got to come in to make the break. But and, and again, let's let's also mention we've talked about the rise of Sonata. This is his first time in the ring in action since becoming heavyweight champion. Can you imagine if he is submitted tonight? Oh. I, what does that do to the rest of his reign? No, there is no title on the line here. But that is that is a dark spot on the championship ring. Oh, and, and he's. Jupin kick out. Ten minutes have passed. Ten minutes. Back to his feet here. He may be charging in. Oh, oh block! That, that drop kick. And on his shoulders. Up and over. Ooh. Sonata. Oh, looking for that inverted DDT counter. Naito caught. This time spun in and out. Oh, anarchist suplex from Sonata. Oh, but Sonata, Sonata is hurting too. Not able to capitalize as he crawls back to the blue corner, looking to make a tag. Oh, tag made, Kenamaru. Oh, God, right to the back of the head there. Double press, two. Two count there. Irish within, charging in, big boot. Front face lock. Oh, dropping the hips. Yeah, Naito is fighting this. Well, he's in trouble. He... Oh, big boot. Yeah, Naito reeling. Kicks again off the ropes. Wow, back elbow connects. Naito neckbreaker there. Barely able to do that swing and neckbreaker. He can only make the tag. You can see Hiromo back up in the red corner. Naito. Rolling slowly. And makes the tag. Hiromu win. IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion again a preview. Coming up April 27th. These two men will be for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title at jpw.com.
Connects, delivers on Sana. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, oh back to the outside, these two men. Laser locked, almost magnetic. Oh, oh. 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 And Hiromu leaving the match in order to take it to Sonata. Oh, That's Sonata. really significant, and Sonata following him back into the ring. Following the junior heavyweight champion in. Two of the five guys. Back elbow. Uh, this, could, uh, this could possibly cost him the match. Oh, it certainly could. Oh, yeah, but there's, there's clearly emotions at play here. Oh, and a move! British roll. Two! Wow. Very, very close. And not good news for Hiromo ahead of that junior heavyweight championship defense. Able to kick out your right mate of the British roll. But it's Kenamore up top. And he was looking for that deep impact, that diving DDT from the second. Instead, he burned the top drop. Wow, super kick there. Insiguri. Haromo got him on the clothesline. Outside leg hooks. Two. And Sonata for safety there. Sonata breaks the fall, but immediately tossed to the outside. The junior heavyweight champion who has one of the toughest schedules in professional wrestling on his calendar coming up. Yeah. We've had things here. Yeah. Oh. Throwing some elbows, trying to escape. Line. Yeah. Yeah. His feet there. Oh, yeah. the next one ends again. Oh, but Naito clips the leg right out from underneath. Sonata returns the favor to Naito. He'll be home there. Oh, Takahashi. Catches, hard yeah. face lock. Oh, oh sits him down. Hooks the leg, two. Oh. 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 Wow, oh. that shocking arrow almost gets L.I.J. across the finish line. What a preview this has been of the upcoming title bout, April 27th. Oh, my God. Oh. Driving him into that turnbuckle. And, th and that may have knocked him out. Kinaburu. Yeah, not done yet. Oh, Wait a up. second. Time up counter. One, two. Two count only. So not a holding on to Nigel on, on the outside. And, oh, Kinaburu. One, two, two. and oh. Oh, hold on. One, one two. two. Got him. Wait a second! How about that? Wow! Is this what we have uh, coming in the future? Perhaps a new IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion? Alex, I mean, we just saw it. We saw it in Vader. We saw Hiromu. His focus the whole match was on Sonata. Whether or not Sonata was the legal man. He took his eyes off the ball. He took his eyes off the price. Is he taking his eyes off the fact that he has to defend his junior right. heavyweight championship? I mean, he wants to make history. He wants to be the first ever to win both both yeah. titles simultaneously. Is he overlooking Kenamaru en route to facing Sonata for the IWGP World Heavyweight title? That's the question I have for you. I mean, that is not just a victory today for two of just five guys, but that is a huge psychological victory coming up ahead of that Junior Heavyweight Championship defense. Hiromo is not going to make history as a double champion if he loses right his title in advance of that big match with Sonata. And clearly his focus is not where it needed to be today. And I have to wonder, I'm not trying to stir the pot or anything, but how does Naito feel about this? And look at that face. Uh, I mean, he, he's so hard to read as it is. Well, he's certainly frustrated to get the loss for uh, LIJ, but like you guys said, I mean, yeah, what an accomplishment it would be to to, to capture the, the, the IWGP Heavyweight Championship from Sonata, but you cannot overlook Kanemaru. Maybe Hiromi Takahashi needs to slow down and focus on what's ahead of him first. Now he finally seems to be realizing the challenge ahead of him. A disappointing night for Takahashi. The wheels are in motion now. There's the glass half empty view, which we just saw that the glass half full view. He saw Kenamura's best moves. He, 
He, he yeah. withstood the British ball. He also, he blocked the deep impact. He was in the match enough mentally, Beta, to know and absorb some of Kanemura's best moves, to block some of his best moves. But I'd be careful if I was him. Because it seems to me, based on his focus during the match, that he is overlooked Kanemaru in a way that could cost him into history. And to make that history that he wants to make, he's got to win the first one on April 27th before he gets the title challenge on April 4th. Naito, again, I, I don't know. Daryl was handed off safely, folks. So you know. And JFG. The victory here. I have some of that. That's your third vice you mentioned tonight, Alex. Gambling, paint pills, and alcohol. What's your vice? Ian. Internet shopping. eBay. Oh. It's well. And yeah. Twitter as and well. I, well, I noticed you, I, you did say earlier that you scaled back a little bit on your Twitter usage. I've deleted Twitter and, and the app. Yeah. And well, and, and on Twitter, quite frequently, you were talking about your latest card acquisition. That's so true. is that now just happening behind closed doors? Well, is that I'm going to be looking to get the rookie card of Sonata, the new IWGP heavyweight champion, Kenamaru, with his sights set on the junior heavyweight title as well. ね。ソリね。非常にソリね。ああ。ノブジ。油断してたわけじゃないよ。もちろん。IWGP じゃあ、ああ。甘くないな、ロボジ。足攻められようが、俺は俺はサナダに注目しすぎたのかもしれない。IWGP世界ヘビーの試合もあるからね。次のシリーズ、いや、俺の中ではもうシリーズは始まってる。もうここはアメリカだけど、もうドンタク挑戦する。そして、ジュニアオージャとして、その世界 たくさん組まれてることは有利に思わないとな。誰よりも。きつい。誰よりも過酷な中で誰よりも最高な興奮。手に入れてやるよ。アメリカのみんなも見ててくれ。ああ、悔しい。ああ。今日久しぶりにここ
試合があるねフィラデルフィアのお客様楽しみにお待ちくださいまた明日お会いしましょうアスタマニアナアディオスおいジュニアタックチャンピオンまあこんなもんじゃねえよなおいあ前哨戦なんか関係ねえよおいお前に勝とうが負けようがよおい当日だよ広島えおい俺の頭の中にはよおい,いろんな引き出しあるからまあ楽しみにしときゃ勢いが完璧ジャストファイブガイズなってますねああ三人いなくてもこのアメリカも二人だけで十分よあのああ最初の入場曲ああ掴んでたね掴んでましたねああジャストファイブガイズコールは怒っててあ,あ,あこっちにも浸透してるんだなってああファイブガイズできていいのはどのぐらいよえそれであの声援だよえどういう意味か分かってんだろうこれで<笑>まあ俺が広ロ倒してその後真田がまあしっかりと覚えしてくれるよ。OK <咳>。プリーズ、ゴホー New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to Dallas, Texas Friday, November 10th It is Lone Star Shootout at the Curtis Colwell Center Featuring John Moxley David Finley Mystico Ultimo Guerrero Kinta and many more. Tickets are available now. For more information, visit njpw1972.com. New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to Las Vegas, Nevada. Saturday, October 28th, it is Fighting Spirit Unleashed in Sam's Town Live. Witness Sanada, Tetsuya Naito, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Eddie Kingston, Julia, Shingo Takagi, Tama Tonga, and the stars of CMLL. Tickets are available right now at Ticketmaster.com. NJPW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Come on. And now it could be nap time for the champ. Go to sleep. Hooks the leg. Is this it? Two. History is made in San Jose. This is mine. This is mine. All you need to do is that I am the new strong openweight champion. Fight Club for life. The third strong open weight champion, Kinta. Pile driver, oh, that's right. Wait, oh, oh, come on! A low blow by Kenta, and he tossed the official down in the process. One, two, oh, get me on the road! Three! Did you see that? I won. I won this title. This is mine. This is my title. Kenta, Kenta, Kenta. Oh, <laughs> Eddie. Hey, now the last time we wrestled, I was just a young boy. Oh, you were kid. I was just a young boy in Japan, you huh? 
but things have changed. I've been a world heavyweight champion. You're in the Bullet Club now. You are the New Japan Strong Openweight Champion. So what do you say we wrestle one more time? Challenger, Eddie Edwards. You want to do it? I'll take that from you. They will collide for the first time in 13 years. Let's do it. For the first time in 13 years on American soil, the first time in 10 years internationally, Eddie Edwards. Kenta, the one on one. The record as it stands, Alex, three and one in favor of Kenta. Well, a lot has changed since then. We're looking at the first ever Ring of Honor Triple Crown Champion World Television Tag Team. And a man that's won the Impact World Championship twice over, Alex. A world champion in his own right looking to add another here tonight. That's right. A lot has changed in those 13 years. Eddie Edwards has become one of the biggest stars in professional wrestling. Of course, Kenta, you know, became part of the Bullet Club and is the current strong openweight champion. You know from their past clashes that this is going to be but this is going to be a hard-hitting matchup. Eddie and Owasa! Well, and it is significant to point out that Eddie Edwards and Kenta, they have faced off numerous times in many different incarnations, but in terms of singles matches, one-on-one, -on -one, it's been four times. Three of those matches, Kenta won. The last time they faced off one-on-one, -on -one, Eddie Edwards won that match. That's right, the last one, Eddie Edwards was victorious. And you, you gotta think that Kenta remembers that. I mean, could Eddie Edwards spoil the reign of Kenta? You're saying you think that Kenta holds a grudge? You think this man maybe has an animosity towards the entire world? You're yeah, right. I would agree with that. You're right, Kenta's not that type of fella. And it was very interesting to me, the, uh, the pre-match comments by Kenta when it came to the strong openweight title. He had three words. He said, this is mine. That championship. It's gonna take a lot to take it from him. The new strong overweight champion, the man that has dethroned Fred Rosser and has already defended against one of the legends, Minoru Suzuki. Him, them clean, we saw it. I was there, Alex Colvin, with my friends Tom Hannafan, Matt Raywall, Humpy First United. It was a, a great bout. About two men willing to go to any length, any depth. I wonder if there's going to be any extra respect offered to a man who goes so well in Eddie Edwards. If he's willing to maybe wrestle a cleaner match, play a cleaner match. Wait, what kind of thing? Wow, wow. I, I mean, why do you, why you talk so judgmental? Wow, hey. Well, I think, you know. Why are you so judgy? Is that your advice? You to judge to those that you don't like agree with? Ken Trying to take away the accomplishments of one of the greatest in Kenta, the current strong overweight champion. I saw it in San Jose. Bruce Robinson smashed Fred Rosser with the chair. Now, do I think Kenta could have beaten Fred Rosser? Absolutely. But we will never know for sure how that match would have ended because Juice Robinson smashed Fred Rosser with the chair. I, can, I have the right to have that judgment. I also have the right to wonder. If Eddie Edwards wearing the, the Noah Green, we should point out. Yes, I think that is pretty significant because that is where Kenta and Eddie Edwards had yeah, so many of their battles. That is how they know each other. But the, the, the relationship, the history between Kenta and Eddie Edwards, the dynamic, it's changed over time. Because when Eddie first met Kenta, well, he wasn't a two-time Impact Heavyweight Champion. He, he wasn't a... He wasn't a champion of anything. He was, you know, he said it himself. I was a young boy. He was, he was running around with Matt Taven, Mikey Bennett, the guys in the in the Northeast yeah. trying to make their name, to crack their name on those brutal Bob Evans cards. And now here wrestling for the biggest prize on New Japan Strong, the Strong Openweight Championship. Two longtime rivals, history, decade in the making, lock up here, Kanobo Tai. 
You know, we're, we're talking, since we're talking about uh, history and uh, them meeting in Noah, it, it was how the world has gotten to know of the legend of Kenta, you know, that legendary run in Noah. That's how Kenta became notorious in professional wrestling. And to this day, uh, how he's been able to maintain and stay on top. So the way that I look at it, Eddie Edwards wearing the Noah uh, 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 tights is almost, you know, uh, a homage to everything that Kenta has done. We'll see if that respect is shown and reciprocated. Counter looks out. Eddie Edwards with the strength advantage here. I think that's something he always possessed. It was a key factor in their last bout 10 years ago. Their last bout in the United States in Ring of Honor was a bout that Kenta. Oh, goodness gracious. That was uh, right across the chin. And Eddie just absorbed it. Gave him a little ovation for it. Every day I. I go down the stairs to my office, I see a poster of the Noah Ring of Honor tour with these two men on it. And I just think what a treat we are. Death has been in physical condition here, competing for the strong open weight championship all these years later. Off the ropes. And it's Edwards! Oh, goodness, he swung with everything. And that took Kenta off his feet well, right away. Yeah, and that really sends a message when we talk about Eddie Edwards and his growth, his progression. And Edwards following Kenta out the outside. And perhaps that's a good strategy. He's not letting Kenta breathe at all. Oh. You gotta be careful with somebody like Kenta. He is willing to go to any lengths. Certainly is, and any depth to keep and win those titles that he's held over the years. And they have been many and a plenty. Oh! Ooh. Collapsing the chest there of Kenta. One. Two. Oh, man, right to the eyes. Three. Give me a break. We asked Four. Oh. Was, was overlooking Kenamaru. Five. You know, Kenta's got a busy schedule as well. Veda has some huge matches coming up. I am the best on this guy. Yeah. AJ, oh, my goodness. Including a day with Hikaleo. We're going to face him in, on, in, at Dantaku, May the 3rd, whether or not he is the champion. Well, and that match oh. with Hikaleo. Oh. That is uh, that is kind of Kenta's own making because if we've talked about the the various you know disruptions and disturbances and changes in Bullet Club, as David Finley has taken over, Kenta has seemed to be more than happy with this change in leadership. He has stood back and watched, and then eventually joined in on these beatdowns. I, he seems very happy with the way things are going in Bullet Club, and that plan does not include. Hikaleo, who is out, along with pretty much everyone else at this point. Yeah, David Finley not making any friends. Overhead belly to belly suplex there, except for maybe Kozlov. And then uh, Kenta, with those heat kick kicks, seeing where Edwards is. Hey, you made a friend earlier, too. Oh, right, yeah, Daryl. Oh, and Darryl, Darryl, yeah. Friend. Well, Daryl's my real friend. Yeah, real friend. So is Veda. Because he doesn't talk back. Oh, my goodness. You I, I, tried, I tried to get some insight from Daryl. He oh, wasn't giving me anything. Oh, Sometimes oh. the best friends are listeners and my friends watching at home, Salisbury Township, Allentown, Pennsylvania, and around the world heard that chop across the chest. What a what a chop. We can hear it. We, we can see the sweat flying off the chest of Kenta. And now he's just trying to get in the head of Kenta, toying with him a little bit. Well, you know, now that I'm standing here seeing Eddie Edwards in that Noah Green standing over Kenta, I wonder, Alex, you mentioned it might be an homage. It, it honestly might be a reminder of where I came from and where I am now. Unfortunately for Eddie Edwards, where he is right now is planted on the mat. Hooks the leg, cover, one count there. And maybe we talked about the unusual circumstance, these two men, like Eddie, was Kenta's young boy at one point. They kind of Kenta mentoring him in Japan. But they also ended up teaming together. They did not want to match together. And, yeah. and I think there's built up animosity over that because that was Eddie's chance in some ways to show Kenta that he took he could take it to the next level. I'm Kenta could trust him. This guy. You know, when you put two alphas uh, on the same team. Go who kick out. Five minutes have passed. Five work. minutes. Some alphas are meant to be the top dogs and that's what we're seeing here. Two alphas, very accomplished in their careers. Both men holding the top championship in major organizations. And right back to the eyes. Absolutely disgusting. 
don't, don't judge. He's going to what works. He's got five seconds. No, he was going to the eyeballs with his thumb. No press. Yes, that works. That would work on anybody. It's, right. it's, it's also illegal in professional wrestling. It's illegal on the streets, too. Knee to the forehead there. Oh, and the knee pad oh. coming down. And that exposed. Oh, oh. I love that. That's that's just that's you know that's confidence. You know he, he's showing what he's made of, and it and it it could be a mistake because oh. Eddie's up allows Eddie to go right back to those chops. And another. Oh. And those chops by Edwards are just notorious. Yeah, those chops oh, are working real well oh. for Eddie. And it, it might have been that, that disrespect by Kenta seems to have really lit a fire under Eddie Edwards. Oh, Some little die hard. Eddie Edwards here reaching back into the old playbook, the old bag of tricks. On the doorstep here, becoming the fourth strong openweight champion in Washington, D.C. Edwards on the attack here. Oh, and how about that? Eddie Edwards putting his foot on the neck of Kenta, choking him against that rope. And the title is not having any of it. But, Kozlov, where does, where does choking with your foot on the rope fall on the scale of acceptable behaviors? Is it is it more or less acceptable than thumbing the eye of your you, you, you You didn't see it? I mean, it could, it could have been just putting pressure on the eye socket, which is perfectly fine. Oh, come on. Edwards. No one has ever said, quote, putting pressure on the eye socket and perfectly fine. I'm no doctor, it's, but. It's ingenious. Kenta has been around long enough to know where to put the pressure, where the uh, pain points are. And the, well, cr the crowd split here in DC, yeah. just like our broadcast table is. Kenta back to his feet. And I mean, that is unbelievable because the Kenta we have seen is so oh ruthless, my. so vicious, but the fans, to a certain point, are still behind him because he's also so legendary. Oh, a float over power slam. Drives Eddie Edwards to the mat. Oh, but Kenta unable to capitalize. Well, I mean, he's still recovering uh, from the earlier attack by Eddie Edwards when he was choking him using the ropes. Oh, come on. It's more likely the blisters on the chest from those huge chops. Oh, oh. Edwards, that straight jab right to the jaw. Charging Ooh. in, big boot connects. Now second rope on the inside. It's Kenta. Oh, oh goodness. The apron and using that top rope to his advantage. Now going to the top rope, likes the double stop. What does he have in mind here? Eddie is staggered. Oh, nice. Hilarious from the top. Drives down the challenger, the champion hooks the leg. Two. You know, and great awareness on the part of Kenta. If he was thinking double stomp, Eddie Edwards managed to get up to his feet. Kenta repositioning, hitting that lariat, and now oh. transitioning. Oh, he got it. Oh. It's over. Got the face lock. Look how far Eddie Edwards is from, from the ropes. The further he is, the more damage he'll take. And the more energy. Oh, he's fighting. Is he fighting the inside of the wrist, trying to grab some skin? Doing anything he can to get out of it. He's got a mouthful of skin. Well, and to get to the ropes, Eddie Edwards also needs to drag Kenta as well, and he has done it. And that's going to expend a lot of energy out of the gas tank of Eddie Edwards, carrying nearly 200 pounds on his back, army crawling. Yeah. But it keeps him in the match. It keeps him alive here. Waist lock. Ooh. Back elbow. Both men on spaghetti legs in this title bout. Oh, he kick there off the ropes. Eddie oh, Edwards. Oh, just with a hard elbow. That Boston bayonet. Oh, oh, oh man. Blue Thunderbomb. Two could be the oh. champion. No. Two and seven eights there. That was a big move. That took a lot of win out of Kenta. Look, in order for Eddie Edwards to compete with Kenta, he, like Kenta, has to be willing to go to any lanes. And that, that means biting his opponent, choking Jibu him. Jibu kick out. Ten minutes have passed. Ten be. minutes. That's the only way that you can compete with somebody like Kenta. Well, Alex, normally I don't agree with those tactics, but I do think you're right. If that is what your opponent is going to bring to the table, then that sometimes is the only way to fight back. And he's trying to butterfly the arms. 
He's been practicing the J Driller as of late, in tribute to his friend, the late great Jay Frisco, up the ladder. Oh, Kenta is rocked. Ooh, back, back, is stunner. Oh. And he got it. He got it. Two. Two. Could be it. Oh. No. Two count there. What a sensational title bout we're seeing here. Part of our double main event, our second of three title bouts. Can you, yeah, can you imagine if Eddie Edwards were to defeat Kenta with his own move? The move he patented, the move that's often imitated, never duplicated. And very few men can He's get got, the can, can get the torque on. Oh, right to the eyes. The old Kozlov special. Oh, big boot delivers. And another, both men staggering again. This has been an all-out war. A title match built on attrition. Oh, those soccer kicks to the face of Eddie Edwards. Oh, man. Kansas just absorbing it. Oh, man. Again, again back to the skull and the eyes almost. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. Trying to, trying to protect himself. Oh, man. Slap to the face. The ropes, Kenta. Oh, oh my goodness! And kicks through the face of Edwards. Ducks to Larry again. Oh, oh that timing out of oh. that timing out of the challenger is level the champion. Kenta is down. If Eddie Edwards could make this pin, we would have a new champion. But I think there's too much taken out of Eddie as well. And yeah, they took a lot of damage in that exchange. Emptying it all for a chance to win it all. Letting the chips fall where they may. The champion, challenger, fighting and crawling to get back to their feet here. Strong open weight title on the line. Eddie Edwards pulling himself up by the ropes, but so is Kenta. Yeah, you can see the chest, the blistered chest oh. of Kenta. Kenta charging in. Kick stops Edwards on the tracks. Front face lock. As Edwards draped. Oh, man. Spikes him head first onto the mat with that DDT. And the only thing that Edwards can be thankful for is that he landed pretty much in the ropes. If there was a cover or submission attempt, he would be in the ropes. But I think that's where his luck stops. Because now the champion is sizing up the challenger. The challenger's luck may have run out here. Oh, vicious kicks in a corner. Vintage Ganta with a vicious drop kick. Eddie Edwards barely rolling out of the corner. Oh, and, and, and that Kenta. is dangerous territory. And we all know what Kenta has in mind here. All the way to the top. Double. Oh. Right through the midsection. Hooks the outside leg. Two. And boom. Oh. Wow. Man. Somehow, Eddie Edwards still in this. Oh. That's a man who plays by his own rules to the beat of his own drum. As Edwards up, oh. Edwards fighting out of the go to sleep attempt once more. Yeah, he knows the danger he is in. Oh, oh man. Oh. Right. oh, open hands. Oh, right to the ear. Oh. The ear, man. the neck. That is vicious. He may have popped his eardrum. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, yeah, Eddie's down. Eddie might be out. Anytime you take shots like that. Yeah, your equilibrium is screwed completely. From the blue corner, yeah. it's Kenta. Oh, rocking in. Delivers the knee, hooks the leg. Two, no. I, I don't know how Eddie is able to kick out of that. How he's still able to fight after taking all that damage. Well, there is, there is more on the line here than just a championship. There, there is pride. Going to sit counter a third time. Like it a third time. Edwards! Kenta oh. fights his way out. Working right into the ropes. Kenta! Oh, goodness. Defenseless Edwards caught. Oh, oh man. He's been looking for that all match. Has him 
him. Buckle up. Oh. Buckle up. Yeah. to the champion. Butterflies the arms. Oh. Him. Tiger driver to it. Oh. Jigo hook kick up. 15 minutes have passed. 15 minutes. Champ, but he ain't Eddie Edwards not done yet. Oh, shining wizard! One from Edwards! Ah. Front face lock here. Ah. Oh. oh no! Hands him down! Oh. Die hard Flosion! Oh. One, two, oh. could it be? Oh. No! Kenta barely lifting the shoulders up. Eddie Edwards just unleashing absolutely ah. everything. And you, you gotta you gotta wonder if he's frustrated. Frustration because he's thrown everything at Kenta. He, he finally hit the Lariat. He hit that Tiger Driver. He hit the hit the Die Hard Driver. I mean, the, the Buster. What is he what does he got left? What could he possibly do that will keep Kenta down at this point? And does he have enough energy to do it? Front face lock here. Again, oh, crossing the legs again. once more. Go for it one more time. Up and over, Kenta. Oh, Watch out. Back elbow. Edward. Oh, 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 no. Poor Taito gets squashed in the corner. And DDT plants the challenger. Kenta is down. Eddie Edwards is down. We, we don't have an official. The referee Taito Nakabayashi. He is down as well. Kenta. This, this is when Kenta gets real creative. Creative is one way to say it. And, and unusually so. I mean, that, that appeared to be just kind of the, the cost of doing business. I mean, give him the chair. Give him the chair. Give him the chair. Don't give him anything. Oh, oh he, he's good. He's good. He's good. I trust his decision. He's the champ. That's his. That's his. A strong open weight champion. He earned it. It's his. I don't know if and he knows. Oh. And he planted that title belt right against Kenta. Eddie Edwards saw it coming. Taito's still down. The referee's down. And Eddie Edwards got that strong old boy championship in his hands. What is he planning? He is not. This match has been, been more about wins and losses. Decades of frustration. Oh, oh God. And it looks like Kansa hit him below, uh, slightly below the waist there on the inside fly here. And, and now Kenta on a night where we have routinely questioned morality answers an eye for an eye. Oh. Slap him back to wakefulness. There we go. He's grabbing the hair of Eddie Edwards. Keep in mind, this is after that low blow, which it was, Alex Kozlov. Oh, go to oh. sleep. Side of the skull, hooks the leg to the champion return. Somehow, by some way, Kenta was able to pull out this victory. And it could have gone any way. Because if Eddie Edwards was to connect with that championship, it would have been Eddie. He got Eddie to try and cheat. He got Eddie to try and use the title. He got Eddie angry enough to try and use the title, which is not something we could get out of Eddie Edwards. Yeah, I mean, he, he kind of really baited Eddie Edwards into that. What did you describe it as? A, a, a shot slightly low to the inside thigh? I didn't know we were getting an anatomy lesson today. I think it was a little bit higher than that, but low enough to make it count. He split the and uprights. Kenta has words for Eddie Edwards. Uh, microphones can't play reason. But they're saying Eddie Edwards, maybe disappointed, maybe non pulsed maybe not impressed. Uh, Kenta continues his reign. The welted, wilted chest of Kenta are the stars and the blusted, blusted blood vessels that he will carry with him. As he remains, it's, it's really strange.
strange that the, the championship is already in the ring. How did that happen? How oh. could that have? How could that be? Well, I mean, I recall Eddie Edwards uh, picking it up in his hands and attempting to win the match. Are you with experiencing it. blackouts here, Alex Kozlov? Are you just losing time? Did is that, that not happen? Did that not happen? This is this, this is really testing my my own morality. I mean, I'm, I'm questioning a lot of things because suddenly. Wait, wait, oh. wait Congratulations, Kenta, on another successful title defense. If memory serves me right, you're the only Bully Club member with gold, the New Japan Strong Open Weight Championship. See, after Ryo Goku, we were supposed to have a special singles match, but after what you did, I'm coming for you now. May 3rd, Wrestling Dontaku, you and I, Kenta. How about it? For the New Japan Strong Open Weight. You and me, right here in Japan. It's time. Wow, we knew the match was signed. <laughs> we knew it was going to happen whether or not the title was on the line. But Kenta has retained the title. He's asking for the microphone for the response. Hikuleo, let's do it. Oh. Title will be on the line, May 3rd. Champion of honor, accepting any oh. challenge. Oh, now he's honorable. You tell me who in their right mind would accept a fight with the giant, the young gun, Hikuleo. Well, I mean, especially a giant that I had recently attacked and beaten down. There is a lot of animosity, and I mean, with this title on the line, I, I don't even want to call it a match. It's going to be a war. <sighs> Kenta. Tonight was supposed to be about payback. About payback for me, for everything that you did to me back in the Noah days. But I could admit, tonight, you were the better man, no matter what it took, because you did whatever it took. In the end, as you told me in the ring, face to face, it didn't matter what you did. In the end, you won. So tonight, I'm going to go ice my head, I'm going to go ice my nuts, and I'm going to regroup. Kenta, I'll be back for you. いや、もう先に一言言わせて。いや、マジで。いや、髪が邪魔だ、これもうそろそろ。いや、切ろうかな。邪魔だ。すげえ邪魔。いや、ちょっと待って。エディ。I don't remember when was the last time we fight in the ring. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see you again in the ring. Okay? And also, I'm so happy. I'm still better than you. <laughs> You're not my level, okay? Good luck, baby. See you next time. Honde, tsugi. Nandan, nandan いつでもやってるよ。なんか挑戦者のくせになんかしてしてきたな。なんかなタイトルを得らせろって。どうしようかな。どうしようかな。やってるよ。でもな。その前に髪切るかもしんねえからな。俺よく覚えとけよ。な
分かったどうやって勝ったかなんて関係ねえんだよ勝つことに意味があるんだよこれは分かったで結局俺が何が言いたいかっていうともう結局最初も言ったし結局最後もこれで締めることになるけどちょっといい加減髪切りたいってこと